God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Lord, in your anger, do not punish me. Alleluia. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger. Do not punish me, Lord, in your rage. Your arrows have sunk deep in me. Your hand has come down upon me. Through your anger, all my body is sick. Through my sin, there is no health in my limbs. My guilt towers higher than my head. It is a weight too heavy to bear. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, in, in your, your anger, anger, do, do not, not punish me. me. Alleluia. Alleluia. Lord, you know all my longings. Alleluia. My wounds are foul and festering, the result of my own folly. I am bowed and brought to my knees. I go mourning all the day long. All my frame burns with fever. All my body is sick. Spent and utterly crushed, I cry aloud in anguish of heart. O oh Lord, you know all my longing. My groans are not hidden from you. My heart throbs, my strength is spent. The very light has gone from my eyes. My friends avoid me like a leper. Those closest to me stand afar off. Those who plot against my life lay snares. Those who seek my ruin speak of harm, planning treachery all the day long. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you, you know, know all my, my longings. longings. Alleluia. I confess my guilt to you, Lord. Do not abandon me, for you are my Savior. Alleluia. But I am like the deaf who cannot hear like the dumb, unable to speak. I am like a man who hears nothing, in whose mouth is no defense. I count on you, O Lord. It is you, Lord God, who will answer. I pray, do not let them mock me, those who triumph if my foot should slip. For I am on the point of falling, and my pain is always before me. I confess that I am guilty, and my sin fills me with dismay. My wanton enemies are numberless, and my lying foes are many. They repay me evil for good, and attack me for seeking what is right. O Lord, do not forsake me. My God, do not stay afar off. Make haste and come to my help. O Lord, my God, my Savior. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I confess my guilt to you, Lord. Do, Do not, not abandon, abandon me, for you are my Savior. Savior. Alleluia. Christ Jesus, you have risen from the dead. Alleluia. Let the heavens and the earth rejoice. Alleluia. From the book of Revelation, I, John, had another vision. Above me there was an open door to heaven, and I heard the trumpet-like voice which had spoken to me before. It said, Come up here, and I will show you what must take place in time to come. At once I was caught up in ecstasy. A throne was standing there in heaven, and on the throne was seated one whose appearance had a gem-like sparkle as of jasper and carnelian. Around the throne was a rainbow as brilliant as emerald. Surrounding this throne were twenty-four other thrones, upon which were seated twenty-four elders. They were clothed in white garments and had crowns of gold on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning and peals of thunder. Before it burned seven flaming torches, the seven spirits of God. The floor around the throne was like a sea of glass that was crystal clear. At the very center, 
around the throne itself stood four living creatures covered with eyes front and back. The first creature resembled a lion, the second an ox, the third had the face of a man, while the fourth looked like an eagle in flight. Each of the four living creatures had six wings and eyes all over, inside and out. Day and night, without pause, they sing, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, He who was, and who is, and who is to come. Whenever these creatures give glory and honor and praise to the one seated on the throne who lives forever and ever, the twenty-four elders fall down before the one seated on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. They throw down their crowns before the throne and sing, O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things. By your will they came to be and were made. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, he who was and who is and who is to come. All the earth is full of his glory. Alleluia. The seraphim cried out to one another, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God of hosts. All the earth is full of his glory. Alleluia. from the Dialogue on Divine Providence by St. Catherine of Siena, Virgin and Doctor. Eternal God, Eternal Trinity, you have made the blood of Christ so precious through his sharing in your divine nature. You are a mystery as deep as the sea. The more I search, the more I find, and the more I find, the more I search for you. But I can never be satisfied. What I receive will ever leave me desiring more. When you fill my soul, I have an even greater hunger, and I grow more famished for your light. I desire above all to see you, the true light, as you really are. I have tasted and seen the depth of your mystery and the beauty of your creation with the light of my understanding. I have clothed myself with your likeness and have seen what I shall be. Eternal Father, you have given me a share in your power and the wisdom that Christ claims as his own and your Holy Spirit has given me the desire to love you. You are my creator, eternal Trinity, and I am your creature. You have made of me a new creation in the blood of your Son, and I know that you are moved with love at the beauty of your creation, for you have enlightened me. Eternal Trinity, Godhead, Mystery deep as the sea, you could give me no greater gift than the gift of yourself. For you are a fire ever burning and never consumed, which itself consumes all the selfish love that fills my being. Yes, you are a fire that takes away the coldness, illuminates the mind with its light, and causes me to know your truth. By this light, reflected as it were in a mirror, I recognize that you are the highest good, one we can neither comprehend nor fathom, and I know that you are beauty and wisdom itself. The food of angels, you gave yourself to man in the fire of your love. You are the garment which covers our nakedness, and in our hunger you are a satisfying food. For you are sweetness, and in you there is no taste of bitterness, O oh, triune God. My sister and my beloved, open yourself to me. 
You are a co-heir of my kingdom, and you have understood the hidden mysteries of my truth. You are enriched with the gift of my spirit, cleansed of all sin by the shedding of my blood. Alleluia. Go forth from the quiet of contemplation and courageously bear witness to my truth. You are enriched with the gift of my spirit, cleansed of all sin by the shedding of my blood. Alleluia. Let us pray. Father, in meditating on the sufferings of your Son and in serving your Church, St. Catherine was filled with the fervor of your love. By her prayers, may we share in the mystery of Christ's death and rejoice in the revelation of his glory, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.